In this episode we explore a gigantic and eccentric 5 star resort. I continue my trip in Turkey, and again, empty cities and highways. Exploring turns out to be really difficult. Most places are secured by docks, cameras and guards. But luckily, I managed to explore some locations. Natureland Eco Park was once one of the most popular holiday resorts when it opened in 1991. However, due to large debts, the hotel was put up for sale in 2013 and closed permanently in 2014. After that, it went downhill fast. Many things were destroyed or stolen and in a few years this place turned into a ruin. The site has been for sale, but there was no buyer yet. The price went down from 116 million Turkish Lira in 2015 to 97 million Turkish Lira in 2020, which is about 12 million dollar. The place is really large, it's about 130,000 square meters. Just arrived and uh, it looks like a walk in the park. Okay, we're just walking like that. <laughs> Convenient. And it's pretty strange because literally every room is guarded here. Many carpets on the floor. Guess they will be picked up. I'm exploring the beaten path today. Seems like a little square. The decoration style reminds me of uh, Alice in Wonderland. The stores turn out to be empty and vandalized. Alright, so we need to go up the hill. Here's the cable cart. Check the goats, they seem to be the only ones who still use the track. There's a snake over there. Oh.
I arrive at the Natureland Forest Resort, one of the big hotels on this side. Giant animal statues. Oh, there's our elephant over there. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty big, right? Sweet. All the Russian taxes. So this place I haven't seen it in a Western urbex community, but it seems like a lot of Russian tourists come here and have some fun like I do. All right, let's see what we can find here. Oh, a giraffe crocodile. Oh. Yeah, the hotel itself is in a really bad shape. Yeah. Guess the tourists had some fun in here. Yeah. Quite a shame. I really wonder why this place isn't guarded. Every place, no matter if it was a ruin, was protected by security, dogs, cameras. Oh, yeah. This is one of the rooms. Really like that they put some uh, extra effort in the rooms with the decoration over here. And even here, a nice mirror. I think at one point this was a really cool place. As you can see, even the corridors have some nice details.
I already see some wooden lodges over there. It's a lot of variety in this uh, park. Going down again, there's much more to see, so I'm gonna lose a lot of time here. All right, back out to the front entrance of the hotel. It's really nice decorated, I don't see it that many times. At least abandoned ones. <laughs> Looks like there's a little train which brought the tourists here. Nice. There are giant lemons in the tree. Look at my hand. Noah's pool here. Pretty crazy. Everywhere I look, you can see decorations. So there's the ark. I guess the pool is right over there. Oh, I think this park costed a lot of money. Oh well, crazy water slide. Oh my god, this place is huge. I think on the map I could see it's almost one kilometer, which is uh, yeah, at least half a mile. So I think I will spend the rest of the day here. You can see an outdoor theater over there, uh, shops and restaurants over there. And then there is another part which goes down over the road. There you can see wooden houses. Here is a giant tree. So normally I'm really into the most dangerous adventures, but uh, I must admit I'm having some fun. It's one big surprise what you encounter here. Crocodiles are guarding Noah's Ark. I hope I can get inside.
Seems like you can go into Noah's Ark. Let's take a look. Weird entrance. <laughs> Seems this was a store. That's the first thing that gets looted. Seems this giraffe has a really long neck. So this is the view from the top of Nork's Ark. There's a staircase going down with the ship. Ah, yeah. Yeah. All right, you get down at the pool. Big outdoor theater. The funny thing is, this used to be an indoor theater, but uh, at some point it seems they dismantled it. Finally, <laughs> I think we've come to an end of the park. So many buildings here, it's crazy. Pretty empty. I guess the other ones will be empty too. So I'm walking back and uh, yeah, maybe we find some other interesting things on the other way.
Nope, slippery. So I guess this was an accommodation too. Let's check if we can verify it. Yep. Bedroom. I'm here alone, so not one any trouble. Yeah, there are some homeless people living in this part, so I'm going to avoid it. <laughs> not worth my camera. A lot of big lodges here, probably for families. Let's check one of the houses. Check out if we got a nice view. Check the view, guys. Wow, the water is really blue. Fortunately, we can't see the park so I'm gonna use my drone to show it what I really like is that they didn't cut the trees but just work around the trees so you can see a tree going to the roof. Pretty nice idea, right? You can see some details. Some details of a nice door. Walking on rubbish. Oh, nice. Look here. So, this used to be an indoor pool. Huh. This whole resort is tagged up with Russian taxes and names. That's crazy. So I guess they are responsible for trashing this resort. Yeah.
little nice detail here. This looks like a mechanical elephant. Sweet, and our indoor part. Uh, totally smashed. <laughs> right, this is just a toilet building, but for a toilet building, it's pretty decent. This is cool. Check this. Looks like I found the jungle bar. It's pretty dope. <laughs> so there's the bar or the DJ booth. Check this amazing view. Oh my God, it's a really cool place to hang out. Wow. So that part, I still have to cover. Jesus, and I'm walking around here for many hours already. Maybe there used to be some animals in here. Yeah, I guess so. Used to be claws in here. So here we go down. It doesn't really feel like a resort. It uh, almost feels like a theme park. Giant mushrooms. And on the other side, big statues of deers. Actually on top of me, there's a huge goat. This place is pretty sick, if you ask me. They even have giant worms in this park. This used to be a waterfall. There I can see a deer.
So I spend a lot of time here. Let's go to the other resort on the other side of the road. Let's check out the disco. Looks pretty nice with the cave team, but uh, yeah, reminds me more of a launch. There's a really bad smell in here. It's because of this cat. God, this part is in a real bad shape. Looks like they tried to uh, take out the marble floor. <laughs> Didn't succeed. All the tiles broke. Let's pile up the staircase. Let's check what's up there. Checking the basement. Well, the state is really terrible, but uh, imagine this was in use. It's pretty stylish.
This looks pretty cool. Looks like the mouth of a whale, and it seems like you can go in. Time runs out. Time to celebrate a nice explore. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like the episode.